Easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop. Ready and raring. Now you see what I can do. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. First strike. All things you hear it now. You picked the wrong fight. It was nice while it lasted. Take this. You're finished! Magic is there! Dragon Core! Oh, this is Talon Storm! Far enough! Here comes Talon Storm! Talon Storm! Take this! The You're finished! Try harder! Try harder! Holy Lord! Here I come! This is over! Right. Magic is there! 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 Magic energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had.
opponent like this should be easy. Here I go. Uh, armor won't save you. I'm only getting the stuck. flame inside is yours to be let free. Crazy cascade. First strike. This one's gonna be tough. Dragon Claw. Eat that one. Burn. Damn it. Now I'm in the groove. Hear me. Hell in the groove. Bring the homestretch down. What you doing? Four eyes on the front. That focus goes double for you, Law. Me? How come I get singled out? You're mine! It's over! I'm not dragon floor! I'm just getting started! End of death! Burn! This is the way! Time for the stop! Take this! You're finished! Dragon floor! This'll come in handy! I need to be stronger! My power growing. Ah, guess I misread the landing. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <laughs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, it'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's gotta be one on the planet somewhere, right? 
Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. First port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Renwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. If any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me, too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, 
that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. Tired Hoodle. You sure he's not just trying to hide from us? <laughs> All right. Something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So... Do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself. But then it occurred to me... Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Ah, oh, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us, too? Dad... Hey, chin up! This is your hometown! Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <sighs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... <sighs> I should have been here.
<laughs> well... <laughs> hmm... Oof, no. Mm-hmm. Have you guys checked your equipment lately?
just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenigus. Lenigus? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor, but there's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Hmm... Mm hmm? All right. <laughs> hmm? I guess... I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. <laughs> Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it, too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and Owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, 
It wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! I'll lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. Yeah! Hey. <sighs> Just great. Hey! <sighs> hmm. Good. What? Like trouble with the capital T. Together we've got this. Dragon in four. Dragon in four. Play. No escape. Take it. Go. Let him go. Dance in the wind. In the wind. Try harder. I never miss. Now, here I come. Anything in armor is all mine. It's a bit more. Oh, 
here. Who is it? Where are you going? Oh, it's hurt me. That freaking does it. Here we go. Denied. Here, here I come. I I'm on my way. Dragon Claw. You're finished. Burn. Burn. Holy land. I'll crush you. <laughs> Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous Claw. Consider yourself finished! I'll heal you all! Here go! Just through the door! Not my watch! Take Solid this! Door. Yeah, Heal and win! Circle. I owe you one! Here! All finish you here and now! Perfect! Make your part! Shiny Supernova! Let me throw it I'm out of ammo! Air drop! Go touch! Magic is in! No way! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Hunter! My turn! Here I go! Here's the evil! Now you see what I can do! Take this! Got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. here. I find the sounds of the night to be rather comforting. and tastes just as good. Shion, could we talk a moment? Hey, do you have time to talk? There's something I need to ask you. Of course. What's up? It's about the doll I used to have as a little girl. I gave it some more thought, and I still don't remember actually receiving it from anyone. You were so little. I don't think it's that surprising you've forgotten, is it? Yeah, but here's the thing. That doll was so old, 
I'm starting to think I just always had it with me from the start. I know that it's extremely unlikely, but after last time we talked, it got me thinking. Maybe... Maybe you brought the doll that child made with you to Lenegas. I couldn't be. Are you saying you didn't? Uh... Look, logically speaking, I know it's a lot more likely that you didn't bring it with you than you did. But you can't say for sure you didn't, right? Crazier things have happened. I always thought I'd be alone, only to end up meeting you and Law and Rinwell and Kisara and Dohalim. Sometimes things happen in life that we never thought possible. You make a good point. I left everyone and everything I knew behind 300 years ago. But now, I'm not so alone anymore. Exactly. You crossed all those centuries to find all of us, so... Why can't a little doll have made the same jump too? Right? Look, it's up to you to decide if there's any meaning behind all of this. But I choose to think there is. Yeah, I think so too. There's something beautiful about the whole thing that simply can't be denied. Sorry if I'm a bit restless during the night. Morning. Ready to head out? It's quite hot here. The climate feels different from Menenseas. It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. So this path is supposed to take us out to Bird Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. Portion of Berg Volcano, 
We need to find that starship. And fast! Necessary when creating weaponry. Looks like some solid equipment. Plants grow instantly? <laughs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. <laughs> An opponent like this should be easy. Looks like it could be worth something. An opponent like this should be easy. Here, have some water. 
Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some Tushion? Oh, wait. You're hungry more than anything, aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Checking out Kisara from behind. Well, no, I wasn't. 